Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera to all fellow teachers and student. Today, I will show you an experiment which is activity 3.5 studying and determining the concentration of extracellular solution which is isotonic to the cell sap of a plant. Next, we look at the problem statement. What is the concentration of the extracellular solution which is isotonic to the cell sap of potatoes? And hypothesis for this experiment is concentration of the extracellular solution which is isotonic to the potato cell sap does not change the mass of the potato cell sap. And now we look at the variable of this experiment. There is three variable in this experiment, which is the first one is manipulated variable, concentration of the sucrose solution, responding variable, percentage of different in the mass of the potato strips, and the fixed variable, which are soaking period, surrounding temperature, and the type of potatoes. Okay. Now, let's look at the list of the apparatus and material for this experiment. We start with the apparatus. Okay, we have electronic weighing scale, forceps, cock borer, ruler, knife, chopping board, filter paper, potato, distilled water and a different concentration of the sucrose solution which is the material of this experiment okay now we start with the first procedure seven because are prepared with different concentration of sucrose solution then a cup borer is pressed into a potato and we need to remove the potato strips from the cup borer Repeat procedure 2 and 3 to prepare 6 more potato strips. Next, the potato strips are cut to 3 cm in the length and wipe the potato strips using filter paper. Next, we need to wait to the initial mass of the potato strip and write the reading in the table provided. After that, soak completely each potato strips in each beaker and left it for 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, we remove each potato strip from the respective beaker and wipe dry with a filter paper. And we need to wait each potato strips to get the final mass. And don't forget to record the results in the table provided. Okay. After that, okay, we need to plot a graph of the percentage of the different in the mass against the concentration of the sucrose solution. Okay, and here is the graph for this experiment. Next, we go to the discussion. From the graph that we plotted, the concentration at which there is no change in the mass in the potato strip is the concentration of the solution that is isotonic to the potato cell set. So here it is, which is 0.3 mole sucrose solution. This is because in isotonic solution, there is no net movement of the water into and out of the cell by osmosis. So no difference in mass of the potato strip. Here is the conclusion for this experiment. Hypothesis is accepted. Thank you.